Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about PARP inhibitors. What are they? Who would receive them? And how do they work? And what would you expect if you're offered a PARP inhibitor? Before I go on, I want to invite you to subscribe to our channel. We're always putting out new information, often in response to new medical advances or a comment from you. So thank you for the suggestions. We love the engagement. So PARP inhibitors are drugs that inhibit an enzyme in our bodies. We're going to spell out PARP right up here. And for the sake of time, I am going to just refer to them as PARP inhibitors. So we have enzymes that repair cells when they're damaged. Cancer cells are always getting damaged and repairing themselves. When we inhibit the PARP inhibitor in the cancer cell, it can't repair itself, and that's a good thing. So we all have DNA damage happening and then being fixed. Normal cells are more able to overcome a PARP inhibitor than cancer cells. PARP inhibitors have been shown to decrease the risk of recurrence in people with high risk, triple negative breast cancer, in people with a BRCA1 or 2 breast cancer. They also will slow progression of advanced breast and other cancers, but in people with metastatic or otherwise advanced breast cancer, PARP inhibitors can inhibit the cancer. So as with most of our therapies, we use it both in people without any evidence of disease after surgery, for example, and in people with advanced disease. These work only, the data we have thus far shows that these drugs work only in people with a BRCA1 or 2 mutation. So if you haven't had genetic testing and you have a triple negative breast cancer, genetic testing will help find out if you might benefit from a PARP inhibitor. You know, a lot of people say, I don't need genetic testing because I don't have kids or I don't uh, want to have my ovaries removed if I had a mutation in BRCA1 or 2. But now more and more the results of genetic testing are informing what treatments work and how well they work. There are two PARP inhibitors used in the treatment of breast cancer and we'll put them on the screen right here. These are taken in pill form. They're not given intravenously. If you're wondering if PARP inhibitors might be part of your treatment plan, I'd love to invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized yerba report. It takes all the characteristics of you and your tumor, cross-references that with the latest medical evidence, and then tells you about your treatment options with the pros and cons of each. In addition, if you subscribe to the premium version, you can ask unlimited numbers of questions of the Yerba team. So it's something to think about, and I'd love to invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized Yerba report. And here is a list of some of the common side effects. The side effects that we want you to be aware of are fatigue, nausea, sometimes your counts can go low, like you can get anemia or low white cell counts, fatigue, mild stomach upset. So those are the main side effects to be aware of. The two drugs are both in pill form and the side effects can be well managed, though some people do need to come off the medicine before the year of treatment is up. I hope this has been helpful. Drop a comment or question below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.